guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys can see i'm not sure what this lighting is gonna be like i have to refilm this video i hope not i've been struggling with the lighting for a while and it's hard to film in this apartment because there just isn't enough like diffused light and there's like shadows and there are these huge windows but they're placed not very advantageous spots so it's been a struggle so you'll kind of see that every time i film things are a little bit different with the lighting but but it's been a while since I filmed one of these videos and this is a book of the month, month, book of the month video, which I'm very excited about. Um, I decided to restart my book of the month subscription. I have been skipping months for a while now. So I wanted to make sure I was actually reading the books and not just collecting them. Um, so I have read some of them now. So I felt more comfortable I'm opening the box, by the way, I felt more comfortable purchasing more. Um, I will link some of my other book of the month videos but down below and also will link my affiliate link if you want to support my channel then um, and you want to join book of the month then please use my link and yeah that definitely helps me out I know there is now a YA book of the month so that's really interesting um, but I'm still just a regular old book of the month subscriber so I'm opening up the book this is what we got on the inside read love repeat and ooh, I'm excited. I got three books this time. These are three books that I've been eyeing for the past four months. So I decided to get them all. I'm gonna get, I'm just taking off the, oh, don't wanna show my address. Taking off the wrapping. Let they come in. It's always a struggle to do this and show you guys that I'm doing it at the same time. All right, so. Open this up. Also, I've been thinking about starting to do wrap ups again. I stopped for a while on my channel, and I know that you guys really love my wrap ups along with my TBRs and my hauls. So, give this video a like if you would like to see a wrap up and see what I've read. Not just, I guess, what I've read recently. So, I haven't done a wrap up yet this year. All right, so we have unraveled everything. We have a handy dandy bookmark. And the first book is um, a book that I'm very excited about, and this is Dominicana by Angie Cruz, a novel. And I just love this cover and how it's like the Dominican flag I'm thinking is what the cover is representative of. And it says 15 year old Ana Cancion never dreamed of moving to America the way the girls she grew up with in the Dominican Republic or the Dominican countryside did. But when Juan Ruiz proposes and promises to take her to New York City, she must say yes. The crunching sounds are Tobe eating, so ignore that. Um, it doesn't matter that he is twice her age or that there is no love between them. Their marriage is an opportunity for her entire close-knit family to eventually immigrate. So on New Year's Day, 1965, Anna leaves behind everything she knows and becomes Anna Ruiz, a wife confined to a cold sixth floor walk-up in Washington Heights. Lonely and miserable, Anna Hatches, Hatches, hatches a reckless plan to escape, but at the bus terminal, she is stopped by Caesar, Juan's free-spirited younger brother who convinces her to stay. Girl, why? As the Dominican Republic slides into political turmoil, Juan, retur Juan returns to protect his family's assets, leaving Caesar to take care of Anna. Suddenly, Anna is free to take English lessons at a local church, lie on the beach at Coney Island, dance with Caesar at the Audubon Ballroom, and imagine the possibility of a different kind of life in America. When one returns, Anna must decide once again between her heart and her duty to her family. Wow. A bright musical, in a bright musical prose that reflects the energy and vibrancy of New York City, mm, my favorite place, Dominicana is an urgent portrait of the immigrant experience and the timeless coming of age story of a young woman finding her voice in the world. Wow. And here we go, Angie Cruz. Hey, Angie. All right, so super excited for this. Super, super, super stoked. Next up, I have a book that I have been eyeing for a minute, and this is Things You Save in the Fire by Catherine Center, or Things You Save in a Fire by Catherine Center. I believe this is a romance. 
of sorts. Um, let's see. Cassie Hanwell was born to handle emergencies. As one of the only female firefighters in, Tex in her Texas firehouse, she's seen her fair share of them, and she's a total pro at managing other people's tragedies. But when her estranged and ailing mother asks her to give up her whole life and move to Boston, Cassie suddenly has an emergency of her own. The tough old school Boston firehouse is as different from Cassie's old job as it could possibly be. Hazing, a lack of funding, and poor facilities mean that the firemen aren't exactly thrilled to have a lady on the crew, even one as competent and smart as Cassie. Except for the, except for the, infatu <laughs> except for the infatuation inspiring rookie who doesn't seem to mind having Cassie around. But she can't think about that because love is girly and it's not her thing. And don't forget the advice her old captain gave her, never date firefighters. Cassie can feel her resolve slipping, and it means risking it all. The only job she's ever loved, and the hero she's worked like hell to become. Wow. Heartfelt and healing toward a force about the strength of vulnerability, the nourishing magic of forgiveness, and the life-changing power of defining courage at last for yourself. Sounds brilliant. And finally, last but not least, I have Gods of Jade and Shadow by Silvia Moreno Garcia. I'm a huge fan of Silvia Moreno Garcia. I have another one of her books. So, the Mayan god of death sends a young woman on a harrowing, life changing journey in this dark fairy tale inspired by Mexican folklore. I love dark fairy tales. The jazz age is in full swing, but Cassiopeia Tun is too busy cleaning the forest the floors of her wealthy grandfather's house to listen to any fast tunes. Nevertheless, she dreams of a life far from her dusty small town in southern Mexico, a life she can call her own. Yet this new life seems as distant as the stars, until the day she finds a curious wooden box in her grandfather's room. She opens it and accidentally frees the spirit of the Mayan god of death, who requests her help in recovering his throne from his treacherous brother. Failure will mean Cassiopeia's demise, but success could make her dreams come true. In the company of the strangely alluring god and armed with her wits, Cassiopeia begins an adventure that will take her on a cross-country odyssey from the jungles of Yucatan, I think I said that right, to the bright lights of Mexico City and deep into the darkness of the Mayan underworld. How freaking amazing does that sound? I might have to start reading this immediately. But yeah, so I have this right here, God of Jade and Shadow. Things you save in a fire. Dominicana. I think these were great picks. Um, definitely go check out Book of the Month. You guys know I love them. They have great picks, especially if you are more into adult books or have been trying to get more into adult books, um, then hey. Why not join a monthly subscription service where you can skip months and you don't have to do it, but if you see something that perks your interest, you can certainly go ahead and get it. So that's it for this video. I'm gonna quickly wrap it up here. <laughs> it's literally just tossing stuff on the floor. Not the books, not the books, never the books. And um, hopefully this video was somewhat palatable and visually pleasing. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Mwah! Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>